the beats though, right? It was all that, you know, basically every artist on that was on my label. I just wasn't, you know, back then strongly financed to handle it. Okay. I did pretty good independent with it, but they had to step up, you know, from Mystical, Cerebon, Soldier Slim, Hound, then we picked up Mag Fiend. Right. You know what I'm saying? I bought all of them in. Basically everybody that was on No Limit other than his brothers right. came from me. So them is your guys. Off top. So uh, what, um, up here in St. Louis, we don't get a lot of the uh, underground info that go on in New Orleans, mm -hmm. uh, Texas, all that's a little down south, Florida, all that's real down south. Uh, was it any um, beef between No Limit and uh, Cash Money? No, no, no. It was just the two heads with egos. Okay, so it was the two boss men. Yeah, because, you know, other than that, you know, me and Manny see each other on the street, we go fucking, we go kicking it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, it was just the two headed people. Right. Cause you know I know Slim saying? and Jeezy was a. Uh... Slim, Slim bought, bought BG into the game. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And when, you know, when BG got out of the situation, Slim bought him to meet me and BG started working. Me and Manny was always the two hottest DJs in the city. Right. So we always clicked, you know what I'm saying? Soldier Slim, Juvenile, and Turk, they from the same project. So we always had our run. We knew each other before they knew each other. Okay. Me and Manny knew each other before Manny knew Baby or Baby knew Manny. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, a lot of that history down there is uh, kind of lost. Once it gets past, I guess, Arkansas or something, it kind of gets me screwed and lost. But we got a guy I heard um, a while back, UNLV, uh -huh. that was uh, down there uh, pumping up, I guess, cash money at the time. Well, well, who was that? UNLV was basically, yeah, y'all fat, yeah, Tech Nine, and yeah, Yellow. That group and BG basically was the ones that put the units out there for cash money to get their deal. Okay. Then they snatched up um, Juvenile, and that was the rap from that. You know what I'm saying? Same look. I'm trying to get, let y'all know the real. You know, I'm asking questions y'all wouldn't even know nothing about. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about UNLV, you know, bad ass no, no. Yellow boy. But anyway, Lil Wayne came in the game, but Lil Wayne been there, but he was young. He okay. really didn't have to say so back then, right? Because he was too young. But you know, it started with UNLV and um, BG. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Those were the two artists that really pushed the issue of selling the units right. for cash money to get looked at by Universal and Jewelry just put the icing on the cake for him. Well, that cash money, back to your situation with No mm -hmm. Limit, uh, is it a reason why you didn't renew a contract with No Limit? It was never a contract. Oh, okay. When we was getting ready to leave, he tried to present one. Okay. And the money didn't have nothing to do with us leaving. Money was never an issue? Zero. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's just more when you get to situations like that, if you're going to take the credit for building a company by yourself, take the credit for your falling. Oh, I heard that. You know what I'm saying? Real because. Time. It can't, you can't fault, you know what I'm saying, um, how people may be out there, or this person saying that we ain't ride with them to the end, but you know, you can't fault everybody, you know what I'm saying, it because if it was that point, why everybody who was there not there? Wow. Right. Well, there's another question I got to ask you. <laughs> A lot of people that was with No Limit ain't there, but they actually... Here, today, mm -hmm. right now, you know what I'm saying, with you. You know, so is that like something you got coming up, a uh, project with uh, some of the artists and producers? That Everybody on my record will pee. Word. You know what I'm saying, Serve On, Mystical Fiend, Mia X, you know what I'm saying, So Slim, everybody, you know what I'm saying, so it was just with, with that, man, you know, we working on Fiend record right now, okay. mine's done. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to drag Serve back in there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Serve on my album. And um, everybody, everybody, you know, it took a minute, like, when everybody went their ways, because it wasn't like we all left at the same time. Right. We eventually left, because pretty much the pound was the first one to leave. Right. So after okay. we left, he broke chemistry. And a lot of artists just realized, man, look, it was more than just us rapping. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He broke chemistry. Once he broke chemistry, you know, and shit, he basically started breaking himself. Well, I, yeah. um, I'm going to cut you off. I'm not really 
into the uh, beef shit, you know what I'm saying? That ain't really my thing, you know what I'm saying? I think the artist should be able to make it on uh, pure talent, you know? Mm -hmm. But uh, I have to ask, because like I say, coming all the way from New Orleans to St. Louis, a lot of mm -hmm. information gets twisted around and we just never receive it at all. Mm -hmm. But I've never heard anyone say anything bad about Master P. I mean, as far as like him not paying money, artists owe money, or anything like that. I've never heard anybody say nothing wrong about this man. I heard a lot of stuff about Baby, Suge Knight, even Puff Daddy, but I've mm -hmm. never heard nothing negative about this man. I know a lot of artists left, but... Because you know why that. you didn't hear nothing? Because right now, this is not, he not even worth talking about. Mm. He's still putting records out. What did he do after we left? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because as far as us, it was the reason why another thing is like, he blocked so many people from getting situations. You know what I'm saying? From like when we first loved. He put a memo out to every company before one of them would sue you. But at the time, you know, he was still up there right. when we loved. Right. So it wasn't like we left when we fell off. We left at the peak. We left after 98. Well, after we didn't sold like 26 million records that year. Right. We left. But the whole thing with him, man, is like, man, nobody's concerned with him okay. at all, you know what I'm saying? And he threw a block out there, blocked everybody from getting their situations popping. And that's why it took so long for us to really come back. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now the people finally realize, after all the litigations, that's why you look at a lot of people been trying to get that old New Limit stuff. Right. They couldn't get it. Cause it was going through some court stuff we can't talk about. Right. But I own the catalog. That's mine. Mm -hmm. Me and Beast by the pound. Me, Moby Dick, Craig, Ben O'Dell. We own them. We own that whole catalog from all about it movies to the whole catalog, the recording. That's ours. So you don't have to go through him to get nothing clear. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, we don't have to pay him no more. He rapped for us for free for the records that he used to own. Hey, we'll dig this St. Louis. It's getting real up in this.